So one of my favorite authors is Malcolm Gladwell. And right now I'm reading a book of his called David vs. Goliath. And the premise behind the book is that, you know, maybe the underdogs really aren't the underdogs. And we shouldn't see ourselves as, you know, the David vs. Goliath and come in there timid, but understand that David had advantages over Goliath and that's why he won, other than, of course, God ordained it. But the fascinating thing to me is that when we look at different statistics, and this one right here, the 63%, this one was fascinating. As an underdog in military battle throughout history, if the underdog is willing to do things differently than the superior force, guerrilla tactics, if you will, that they actually won that military struggle 63% of the time. They're no longer the underdog. So if you look at it that way and we start to think about our own businesses, especially as a small to medium sized business, why would we employ the same tactics when it comes to our workplace strategy as a Google or a Facebook? These are the superior powers. We are the underdogs. So why do we always look to see, ooh, what's Google doing with their workplace strategy? What's Facebook doing with their workplace strategy? When, if we're competing with them for talent and for retention of talent, and we actually want to win the majority of the time, we need to come up with our own tactics that are unique to our own company culture and go forward with that versus trying to emulate what the quote unquote superpowers are doing.